Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for a lot of tweeting updates of those seven games left of the regular season and breaking news. It's come to the down of the wire in the season. Playoff hopes are basically out the window in the rear view window. Now, there's been talks about Dave Cameron being fired, and that was the main basis on Sportsnet today because the Maple Leafs weren't played, playing, so they actually just talked with Dave Cameron the whole game. Um, it sounded like Steven Stamkos. Uh, let's compare Steven Stamkos to Dave Cameron uh, with Sportsnet. It was like that. Um, and it's com- it's the end of the season now. It's seven games left. It's um, I don't think I'm going to be able to commentate at least one game this year. But we may may or not do um, a, a series on our channel. With NHL 16 playing with you guys, just let me know in the comments below if you'd like that. Anyways, let's get into the game. A meaningful game, meaningful to the New York Islanders though. There was only two games, and both games were being played in New York. This one in in Long in not Long Island in Brooklyn. Let's get started. First period, no scoring, but uh, what's his name? Ah, Burbay or something. The goalie from. The Islanders was fantastic the whole game. This rookie goalie was out of his blind, spectacular, making two robbery saves in the first period. The shots were 10 to 5 after the first period. Going to the second period, 5:25 in, John Tavares is left all alone on a big rebound on the faceoff from Andrew Hammond. He puts it past Hammond, assisted by John Bailey, Josh Bailey, and Kevin DeHaan. Carlson couldn't pick up where Tavares was, and he just put it past Hammond. Islanders up one nothing. Now, uh, with fourteen twenty in with uh, five ten minutes later, Matt Martin scores, assisted by Travis Hamnick and Nick Letty. Nick Letty passes to Hamnick, who lets go a ripper slap shot, who tips off Martin and in, but the Islanders up two to nothing. Twenty seconds later, Shane Prince, the former Ottawa center, behind the net of Andrew Hammond, ba- puts it right open for Brock Nelson, who fires it past Andrew Hammond. This goal was reviewed, but later called a good goal. 3-0 Islanders, uh, at 20 seconds apart, the two goals. Chan Prince, his first point ever against Ottawa Senators, the former Ottawa Center, bites us in the ass. Um, and that, that goal, Brock Nelson, assisted by Shane Prince, and Anders Lee. Now, 621 into the third period, Mark Stone continuing his hot streak. Just one of the great, one of the, the bright uh, places this season. Obviously, we knew Carlson would be the absolute beast, but like, Pajot, Stone, and Zach Smith, for the most part, have been great, just, just great, great players, and really the only happy thing this season. Um, the past few games, ever since the Habs game, um, we ended up losing 3-1 to one. in the last few minutes. We put a lot of pressure on, but couldn't pat, put it past Bur- Burube. But uh, the last few games, we've been playing better defensively. Throughout the game, there's been little patches where we get caught and we allow goals, like you saw there, 20 seconds apart. But for the most part, we can't. We, we're, we're chasing the game. There's just little pockets where we're we're just giving up. But for the for the most part of the game, the past three games, we haven't been bad defensively whatsoever, except a few. There's, I'm not saying we've been great, but the shots have been went down. Dave Cameron knows what's going on. He's probably gonna get fired. And they're playing much more structured most of the game. Not 60 minutes, but I'll say 50 minutes. They have little patches here and there that could come to bite, bite them that. Sometimes they get lucky. Sometimes they don't. They didn't get lucky here. Two goals in 20 seconds. Well, that was one of the patches they were in. For the most part, it was a well-played game. The thought misplayed it on the third goal. But um, the well-played defensive game, for the most part, we had a lot of chances early on. So... Burbe is the reason why the Islanders won. So the Senators and the uh, New York Islanders had 23 shots on net. And the Senators, hardest worker of the game. I know we don't bring this every single night, but I think it was definitely deserved for Mark Stone. He's there every single night. I just feel bad for the guy. Like, what a, what a passionate guy. He didn't even celebrate when they scored. I feel really bad for him. It's too bad. Uh, the next Sens game is against the Anaheim Ducks in Ottawa on March 22nd, 2016. On Saturday, City TV and TVAS2, 17 Eastern Time against the Anaheim Ducks, who, uh, if they don't win, uh, I think they're going to clinch a playoff spot by t- tomorrow or something. Uh, if they don't win any more games, they, they basically turn the playoffs. Uh, great comeback by them from the way they were earlier in the season. 
Current standings are as follows. If you still believe we can pull off a miracle, the Islanders 85 points, first place in the wild card. Uh, Philadelphia 83 points. I think they're going to make the playoffs. Detroit is not going to make the playoffs, in my opinion. 73 points. New Jersey 77 points. Carolina 76 points. Ottawa 76 points. We are now seven points out of a playoff spot, and Philly, Philadelphia Flyers have two games and three games in hand, I believe, two or three games in hand. So, uh, no, it was at, we were out uh, a month and a half ago, to be honest. But, anyways, um, Montreal Canadiens seventy four. Uh, they let them go ahead of us. I'd rather start losing a better draft pick, possibly trade it for a top six forward. We'll get into that in the future video. Uh, Buffalo seventy points, Columbus sixty eight points, and Toronto. As I said before, officially eliminated 63 points. Um, oh, God. Like, I know we're going to lose, like, a lot. And I'm, I'm, there's nothing I'm, there's nothing wrong with it, in my opinion. The season's over anyway. The players the players should play for Dave Cameron, though, if they really like Dave Cameron, in my opinion. But, God, like, it's just a little patch, as I was saying before. Just, you just can't let that happen. They're, they're playing better. They're not playing good. They're playing better. Um, oh, I have a... This is funny. Um, here's a shout-out to Josh the King of Fish Nuggets, a.k.a. AKA Josh G. Uh, G. Uh, it's a kid on my bus. Uh, hello. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow us on Twitter at Sensalk underscore for live tweeting updates of the game and breaking news. Like this video. Share this video for sure cool stuff. Uh, like this video because Sensalk. Uh, click the big red button down there. Subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video. We share cool stuff. Add us to the circle. Plus, send stock. Send stock center.com. The website's up. I really hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video. Sends loose 3 1. And go, sends go. See you in the next video on Saturday after the Anaheim Ducks game. Go, sends go.